Hello everyone, welcome back to our accounting tool. And in this video, I want to look at the My Accounting Lab assignment with you. And then we do some practice of multiple choice together. So let's look at um, this question. First one, you know, this is a very typical question. Uh, why I show my answer here already? <laughs> oh, sorry, this is not my answer. This is not the right answer. Sorry, I think I just click. This is not the right answer, sorry. So um, in the exam, you know, I may ask you, you know, what is in the operating budget, what is in the um, financial budget. So you have to remember, remember that we had this picture, uh, I'll make it a little bit smaller, sorry about that. Remember we had this picture, right? So it's asking about operating budget. So you should know operating budget, we have a sales budget, a production budget, operating expense budget, uh, so, so, so this one should be in our operating budget. So the others, um, balance sheet, the cash capital, those are about in our financial budget. So I checked my answer very quickly. I'm sure it's the right one. Um, I ask you here is in the operating budget. In the exam, I may ask you hey, what's in the financial budget. So that is how the professor, I don't know about other professors, but for me, we practice the one plus one equals to two. In the exam, I may ask you, hey, what is two minus one? So you have to just use this as the example, and uh, but you have to think about hey, what the professor might test me. You know, you have to know everything. Don't just know operating budget, also know financial budget. Okay, next one. Um, this is, so let's see, I think this is a calculation. So let me do it here. Uh, you sales were this, this pro, uh, project is sales for July and August. This, this, uh, June, July, August, sales 40% cash, 60% credit, all credit sales are collected in the month following the sales, okay? What is total expect collection in July? Okay, I like this question. Oh yeah, I like the cash collection. I don't know why, but I just, <laughs> I like doing the numbers, okay? So asking you your cash collected in July, okay? So July, you will have a first part is the cash sales and then also the credit sales in June, right? All of your credit sales are expected to collect in the month following. So in July, we collect the June. So in July, our total sales were 100,000, 100,000. And then 40% will be cash sales. So cash sales is just here, right? Yeah, I don't know why. Okay. So July, our cash sales will be, sorry about this. Our cash sales, Our cash sales will be this a thousand, and then forty percent will be cash sales, right? So we got four hundred. We got four hundred. We got four hundred there. And June credit sales. June credit sales. June credit sales. We got the June. The sales is. Oh, sorry. This is sorry about that. Sorry, I made a mistake. Okay, sorry about this. Okay. So your July, your July sales, your July sales is six thousand four hundred. Sorry, it's my bad. Six thousand four hundred, and then we said forty percent will be cash sales. Okay, for June, our sales total is a thousand, and then we said sixty percent will be credit sales, and credit sales will be collected in July. So our July will be. Um, this will be, let me do the number, okay? Give me one second, I have one calculator here, okay? 6,400 times 40% gives me 2,568 plus, that is 600, right? It doesn't look correct. Okay. Okay, doesn't look so why the drone and the sale is so small, <laughs> so low, I mean. Okay, plus my 600 equals $3,160. Let me see what I'm writing. Yeah. 
concert. Oh yeah, right. So this is a very typical. Um, in the assignment, I think the problem is a little bit harder. This one is very straightforward. It just said your next month. So you just have one month. Um, sometimes we can say uh, your next next month. You know, you have to pass two months, even three months. But this one, you just have one month. So you sell in June, you will collect your money in July. And July, you also have the cash sales. Okay, next one. Uh, the first component, you should know this one. I'm not going to say too much. Wow, this is a long one. Oh no, what's this? Let's look at this question. Okay, so you have all these, you have budget sales production. Uh, each of us require one point of play in the world. That's the policy that the inventory play at the end of the month needs to be. Oh, this is this is how many points? Okay, this will be your how to say the direct material, direct material, direct material budget. So I'm not going to test you. I'm going to just replace this question. Sorry about that. You don't need to know this one. You do not need to know the calculation for this one. I apologize for this one. Sorry about that. I need to replace these two points. I need to replace this one. Sorry. Uh, replace it with an easier one, right? Uh, next one. Uh, right, say what is in the financial budget. You should know this now. Capital expenditure. So you should know this concept. Uh, next one, financial budget. It's about what you should know. This one, 12, 4. Next one, master budget. What is master budget? You should know this one. Um, for the payment. Okay, so let's look at this one for the payment. Uh, purchase in May is this, then purchase in June and July are this. All purchases are paid 30% of the month, I will purchase on 70% of the following month. Um, what's the amount in June payment? Okay, so we are talking about your June payment. Now we talk about the June payment. Talk about the June payment. Talk about the June payment. So June payment, um, you have this May, you have you have a May, you have a June, you have a July, right? So the June payment, the June, the cash payment in June will be part from June and then also part from May, right? So your May purchase will be paid in June. Your June purchase will also be paid in June. Okay, so let's look at this one. Um, your June payment part is from the June, 30%. All purchase will be paid 30% in the month of the purchase. So your June purchase, your June purchase is 74,000. And then 30% will be paid in June. 30% will be paid in June. So June, we have to pay. We have to use the cash to pay for this part. And then 70% will be paid in the following month. So our May purchase, 70% will be paid in June. So our May purchase is 58000 And then we said 70% will be paid in next month, which is June. So our total June payment will be, give me just one second, I'll do the number. 74,000 times 30% gives me, I put it here, about 200 plus by 58,000 times. 70% gives me 40,600. So total gives me 62,800. Let's see whether I got the right answer. 62,800. Check on. Yeah, right. So cash payment, the cash collection, you definitely will have a question from these two parts. And then production budget, okay? Production budget. 
um, this is um, this cash payment budget you should know, read your textbook, right? Read your textbook. Oh, I'm done. Hey, I'm still trying to work. Sorry. Okay. Um, so we still have a one. I want to replace that one with the um, production budget. I'm sorry, I cannot make a video here, you know, because uh, I can make a short video later. Uh, I, okay, let me do that. Let me make a short video quickly because uh, production budget is very important. So I'll see you next time. I'll change that question, make a quick video, and then uh, let me know if you have any, any question. Cash payment, cash collection, production budget, those are three calculations. You definitely have to know for this chapter. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you in the next short video of the production budget. Thank you.